is Jim, I'm the director at uh, CrossFit Foggy Bottom, and today I'm here to describe some of the differences between the clubs that we have in the gym. So you know, you know which one to use for your proper workout. Start off, of course, you'll see PVC pipe that's laying around. People use this for different warm-up drills and just very basic uh, sort of starting drills. The next bar we have right here is a 15-pound aluminum test bar. You'll notice it's just a little bit uh, longer than that. This one is very, very light. This is also used for drilling, just very light weights. Uh, what we don't want to do with this bar is we don't want to load it with heavy weights because it will bend and ruin the bar. So again, light weights only or just the empty bar. Next here, as you see from the distance, it's a little bit longer than the 15-pound bar. Uh, we have a 15 kilogram woman's bar, okay? So for easy math, it's about 30 pounds or 33 pounds if you want to get technical. This is used for Olympic lifting, so the lifts like the clean, jerk, snatch, things like that. Biggest difference you'll see with this bar is the diameter. The diameter is going to be a little bit thinner than all the rest of your, your bars. The reason we have a thinner diameter is so a woman's hand can hold the bar nice and strong when they are doing the Olympic lifts. With this one, we don't want to deadlift heavy with it, we don't want to put it in a squat rack, we don't want to bench with it. Okay, we want to try to keep it primarily just for the Olympic lifts. So again, you can see it's a little bit longer than the 15-pound one, but a little bit shorter than some of the other 45-pound bars we have here. Right next to that, we've got a 45-pound bar, a 45-pound Olympic bar. Okay, but the biggest thing that makes a, a bar an Olympic bar or useful for Olympic lifts is how easily it spins on the collars. With Olympic lifting, it helps us to have this to spin nice and freely. Uh, it allows you to rack the weight up on your shoulder or over your head in a much uh, more easy uh, manner. Now, in terms of this, because it spins nice and freely, we don't want to use it for deadlifts, for squats, for bench. Uh, deadlifts will, of course, kind of damage the inside edge of the bar with heavy weights being dropped repeatedly. And uh, again, like I said, we'll, we'll lose the, uh, the good sort of spin that we have on the bar. Squats, it's completely unnecessary to squat with this bar and it tends to kind of wear down a lot of the knurling if you throw it in the squat rack a lot of times. You want to keep this knurling nice and sharp because of course this is where an athlete would grab for exercises like the snatch. And then of course the very final exercise, bench press. We don't want to use it for a bench press because if you're holding onto this bar, it's going to move around a lot and cause a lot of wrist instability. So again, stick with only Olympic lifting for this bar. Clean, jerk, and snatch, okay? Not, not in a bench press and not in a squat rack, and not doing it, okay? If someone yells at you, it's probably because you're using it in the wrong purpose. What we have here, we've got another 45 pound bar. This one, and the most ones you'll see in the gym, which is the black center like this, they're kind of an all-purpose bar. You can Olympic lift in this, it'll spin, but maybe not quite as well as this one. Again, use it for Olympic lifting, not too uh, big a concern if you use it for deadlift, bench, or squat. It's still the best use for deadlift, bench, or squat. So again, this is 45 pounds as well. This one is uh, 20 kilos, so 44 pounds. So again, 45 pounds for all intents and purposes. This very last one, this one was one. just doesn't spin too well at all. It's a little stiff. You see a lot of bars like this. This is the perfect sort of bar to use for the bench press, for the squat, for the deadlift. We don't need any sort of bar rotation here, so use the bars that don't spin for exercises where you don't need to spin. So again, we've got the 45s, 30 pound, 15, and PVC pipe. My name is Jim Bathurst, I'm director for Crossing Foggy Bottom, and that's the bars you have in the gym.